I go to the movies. What? And this one, it was at a theater I never go to. If you can even believe it. This one, it was at the Capital 8. I never go there. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, another good, rich, quality theater. But, uh, yeah. So this one, it was a movie that I did not see in the trailers for. But I saw it pop up on the app, and I was like, well, I should go see it. And, uh, I don't have a problem going to these good, rich theaters. They're, they're nice, quality theaters. It's just that, uh, you know, they don't have as good of a deal as the Regal. So, you gotta compete by showing movies that aren't at the Regal. And they did. And this movie, it was called God's Country. And this is not about a, a country music station. Oh, no. It is about the lady. And she inherits an old farmhouse, an old cabin out in the, the wilderness. Well, I guess it's a ravine. And she is the teacher at the college. And uh, some locals, she, she notices that they're parking in her driveway. And she's like, well, I'm, I don't know that. I don't, I don't know them. I don't want them parking in my driveway. So she knows, she, she leaves a note. This is also based on a book or a short story or something. And it's kind of over the span of seven days. <laughs> you could actually call this movie. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so it's basically, it's basically about the, these local people and her escalating this thing about how she doesn't want them parking on her driveway or hunting on her land. <laughs> And, uh, so, you know, she involves the sheriff, and he's a sheriff's deputy, there's a whole thing about that. And he's like, look, you kind of just gotta work this out yourselves. If you get me involved, they're gonna see it as an escalation, and it's gonna be a, a whole ordeal. And she's like, no, that's just, we gotta do this, it's the right thing to do, so, you know. So it's basically her trying to reason with these, these local people, and them just being really offended that I guess she's not being neighborly by allowing them to trespass? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of understand it, you know? A single lady living out by herself, she doesn't want the strange men just parking in her driveway in the dark, all creepy-like, walking around with their guns. <laughs> so... But I don't know. It's like... They don't explain, the movie, it doesn't explain why they are so intense about hunting on this land. Like, I guess, you know, it's, it's prime hunting, but it's like, they don't make it seem like they're hunting for sustenance, like they can't afford food, so they have to hunt for their food. It just kind of like seems like it's it's their hobby. So it's like, why are they so intense about this if it's just their hobby? I don't get it. <laughs> and there's, you know, different scenes where it's like she's trying to befriend these people. You know, and it's like, it seems like she's going to make headway with one. But then, you know, it just... I don't know, it's just it's just crazy. And then, because she's having all these issues, she starts acting weird at work. And then, her boss, who is also her neighbor, you know, there's this conflict with him. And it's... Oh, I guess you could all... Well, the conflict at the college is... It's sort of about, you know, uh, representation and who gets you know, applications to cow to the college because she is an African American lady and this is an all white area sort of thing and so I don't know. So I mean they don't it doesn't seem outright like they hate her because she's black. 
it really just does seem to be this thing about hunting and they feel disrespected or something. And she's just like, I just don't want you on my property, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of, kind of weird. But anyway, so I thought the movie was well made, you know? I thought it was well acted. I thought everybody did a good job. I didn't notice any plot holes. I didn't notice any craft errors with the filmmaking. I thought the cinematography was was good of the different uh, landscapes. And, you know, she likes to go for jogs down the dirt road with her dog. And that sort of thing. There's a real intense scene at a Christmas tree farm. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty decent movie. I haven't, uh, read the book. It's kind of like one of those movies where when it ends, it's just kind of like cut to black end, you know? It's kind of like, well, I kind of want to know what happened after this. <laughs> but it's like, we well, ain't going to tell you. Because <laughs> the movie is over. But anyway, I thought the movie was pretty good. But all that, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter, and your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, those are my thoughts and opinions. I have put them up on the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. Don't you know? So... But, uh, for what it's worth, I thought this God's Country movie was pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah. 